So we have Boruto chapter 54 titled Brothers and in this chapter we got some crazy spoilers as we see Boroshiki versus Kawaki and Boroshiki versus Sasuke. And not only that, Boruto has regained consciousness over Momoshiki as we see Boruto try to fight back over Momoshiki as he breaks the horn off of his own body which I find insane. And not only that, is Naruto dead? It does look like he is in a very bad position right now. Boruto chapter 54 titled Brothers, these spoilers are insane. Let's get it man. Oh, <laughs> So to begin, I'm going to read you some summaries provided by Knight Baron on Twitter. Please go follow them, link in the description, you can go check them out. But I'm going to read you the summaries first. If you don't want to read them, I'll have a timestamp where I'll show you all the panels. But the chapter starts with Boroshiki saying that I've gotten rid of Sasuke's space time ninjutsu as it would have been troublesome and now you have nowhere to run. Naruto says that Momoshiki has taken full control over Boruto's body completely. Boroshiki then commends Boruto for being a perfect vessel. He says, Boroshiki, it's the second time I've managed to come out like this. Indeed, this is a good one, referring to Boruto as a vessel to be able to move freely like this. Sasuke looks at Boruto's wounds and thinks they have been healed by Boroshiki. Kawaki has a flashback of his conversation with Boruto about removing the mark, aka Karma, from chapter 27 and Boruto telling Kawaki that they'll defeat Jigen together. Kawaki tries to reach Boruto by saying, cut it out you bastard, but Boroshiki mocks Kawaki by saying that you're free now, aren't you? Ishiki Otsutsuki's soul has been completely destroyed. Kawaki replies by saying shut up, but Boroshiki says that no matter what you do, it's useless. Kawaki attacks Boroshiki using his modified arm, but Bor Boroshiki manages to dodge easily and gets close enough to stab Kawaki on the back. Boroshiki reveals his intentions of feeding Kawaki to the Tentails that Ishiki is hiding somewhere to extract the chakra fruit. Kawaki continues to combat Boroshiki. The panel then switches to Naruto who is in a bad state and passes out. Back to the fight, Boroshiki while dominating Kawaki is then challenged by Sasuke. Boroshiki uses a kunai to stop Sasuke's sword strike. Sasuke then uses lightning release and Boroshiki takes a step back. Sasuke notices that Sasuke noticed that Boroshiki didn't absorb the lightning release. Sasuke remembers the promise he made to Boruto and says that he is prepared to do this because we're master and disciple, Amaterasu. Boroshiki immediately uses a shadow clone to avoid the black flames from making contact with the real body. Boroshiki then tries to run away as he is unable to absorb the ninjutsu because of a certain disadvantage. Sasuke immediately strikes with the fireball jutsu but Boroshiki dodges instead of absorbing it. Sasuke notices this which confirms his suspicion that Boroshiki is unable to absorb jutsu plus chakra. Sasuke regroups with Kawaki who is with Naruto and mentions that he notices something strange about Boroshiki and that they have to deal with him now, otherwise we'll all die. Sasuke realizes that Boroshiki is probably capable of using space-time ninjutsu and can at any time travel back to the village. Sasuke follows by saying that before that happens, we need to bring back Boruto's consciousness. Sasuke thinks that maybe Boruto's chakra exhaustion is the trigger which allows Momoshiki to take control of Boruto's body. And so, if Boruto's chakra is restored, perhaps Boruto can regain consciousness. Kawaki doubts this, but Sasuke says that there is no other explanation. Boroshiki is unable to absorb chakra, possibly because that might end up restoring Boruto's chakra, allowing Boruto to take back control. Boroshiki from far away observes Kawaki and Sasuke and says that attacking them up front won't work. Sasuke says that he wants Boroshiki to absorb chakra before he gets tired, so they have to attack using all the remaining chakra that they have. All of a sudden, Sasuke gets struck by a vanishing Rasengan launched by Boroshiki. Boroshiki tries to execute his plan while Sasuke is down and attacks Kawaki. While Boroshiki is attacking Kawaki, Kawaki recalls he has a flashback, Boruto's brotherhood and their deep connection. Boroshiki proceeds to absorb Kawaki using space-time ninjutsu in order to escape but Kawaki says enough and uses fire release directly on Boroshiki's face. Boroshiki is shocked. He tries to stop the space-time ninjutsu but it's too late and the chakra gets absorbed. Kawaki loses consciousness. Boroshiki is determined to finish the plan before Boruto wakes up but Boruto suddenly regains consciousness and so Boroshiki tries to hurry the process but is unable to perform the space-time ninjutsu because of Boruto. Boruto says that's enough Momoshiki, this is how far you go. Boruto grabs his right arm using his left arm and proceeds to break off the horn. Boruto now has full control over his body. Boruto while lying down says to Kawaki that he is sorry for all of the trouble I've caused and Kawaki says we're in this together damn brother. The chapter ends with Sasuke looking over Naruto's unconscious body in a concerned manner. And then the next chapter preview, the boys who met by fate grasp the future. The stakes are high following the fierce battle of resolution. So this is basically the chapter summary. I would like to say that even though I read you the summary, this isn't the entire chapter. There is definitely some information that we don't know of as of yet. So we're gonna get some more information when the actual 
actual chapter released so please don't take this entire summary for granted it is not the entire chapter we're definitely gonna get much more information once the chapter officially releases tomorrow but this is the summary and oh my god this is crazy this is the first time i've read it and this is insane momoshiki is planning to feed kawaki to the ten tails just like how ishiki was trying to do with boruto as kawaki he is also a perfect vessel for ishiki however kawaki doesn't have the karma suit anymore so i'm still wondering how that will still work because kawaki like i said he doesn't have karma yet it does seem like kawaki is enough to feed to the ten tails to create the chakra fruit that momoshiki is planning to eat and this was also ishiki's plan so i like this parallel between these two otsutsukis even though momoshiki is much weaker than ishiki but this is kind of crazy as this chapter went stupid and all i gotta say is that both sasuke and kawaki they're both mvps a lot of people in general were complaining that sasuke was getting kicked around he was being useless but to be honest with you without sasuke they definitely would have lost this battle as you know even though sasuke really didn't contribute much in the ishiki fight he definitely did help a lot as we did see last chapter he did help kawaki escape from ishiki he left a smoke bomb behind with kawaki so kawaki can hide for a much longer time which did help defeat ishiki otsutsuki so you know i know a lot of people are mad that sasuke was getting kicked around but sasuke in this battle despite you know people being complaining that he's been getting kicked around he's basically been the dark horse of these past couple of chapters and if it wasn't for him they definitely would not have been ishiki and in this fight against boroshiki sasuke definitely played the mvp sasuke definitely balled out this chapter and he did help a lot including kawaki and kawaki did a lot as well as he was able to fight off momoshiki which i am very impressed because kawaki you know he doesn't have karma he can barely use chakra he can barely make a shadow clone he can only do fire style jutsu but that was enough to fight boroshiki as boroshiki we found out his weakness he can't absorb ninjutsu as it will wake up boruto from his consciousness where boruto can take over his body once again so i like how kishimo is implementing momoshiki's weakness to the karma seal i like how we are finally finding out how the karma seal can be countered because before we didn't really know how to fight off the karma seal i like how kishimoto is now implementing how to basically fight off the karma seal as we do know that in chapter one slash episode one boruto is alive momoshiki hasn't resurrected through boruto's body yet it looks like he's about 16 years old and his karma seal is there so we can probably say that his karma seal is 100 percent by then and you know maybe boruto has full control over his karma seal and this chapter these spoilers go crazy as we do see sasuke he's trying to fight momoshiki it is doing some damage he's using lightning release he's using fire release in order to stop boruto and he does go through with this plan something that naruto couldn't do and that he is willing to kill momoshiki and obviously i knew it wasn't gonna happen because it would retcon chapter one but we do see the willpower from sasuke the next couple chapters are gonna be crazy as we're so close to the time skip i do think that once they get back to the village the time skip is gonna be imminent it is gonna be there we're gonna get the time skip in the next couple of chapters this is gonna be crazy as the battle has finally ended and it does seem like they're gonna head back boruto is alive and now they can head back to the village as boruto is the only person that can use space time ninjutsu by using his karma since sasuke did lose his renegon momoshiki he's still gonna be a threat in the future but it does seem like there is a weakness to fight off the karma seal and the extraction of these otsutsukis when they're using the karma seal do you think that uh naruto is dead because i do want to talk about the last page this is the last page of the chapter as we do see naruto go unconscious it does look like naruto he has messed up right now and i have no idea what's gonna happen to him as we do see him unconscious it does look like the baryon mode definitely did fuck him up a lot since we do know that the baryon mode does take away your life force so not only is naruto messed up but also kuruma i feel like a lot of people are forgetting about him because if hypothetically kuruma does die so does naruto so you know kuruma he's probably in a worse position than naruto right now as he also used the baryon mode alongside naruto and it definitely did take away his life force so let me know what you think about these spoilers in the comment section below do you think the time skip is here do you think this time skip is gonna happen in the next couple of chapters are you ready for the time skip and also do you think ishiki came through and got the karma seal on kawaki we don't know that yet it hasn't been stated in this chapter either i don't think it's gonna be said in this chapter but kawaki is gonna somehow have to get the karma seal again which we do know that he has it in chapter one um let me know what you think about this in the comment section below so if you like this video hit that like button subscribe hit the bell as well and have a good day peace